Yeah, that was one of the great uh, football experiences I've ever had. So it says a lot for 23 years in the league and for a regular season game. And I think the fan turnout was incredible. It felt like uh, very electric from the time we took the field. So uh, at the end of the game with them singing Sweet Caroline and uh, Country Row, that was that was pretty epic. So I think everyone who's a part of that experience uh, got to got to have something pretty uh, pretty amazing memory for their life. So thank you for hosting us. We appreciate it. Thank you. No, that was one of the great experiences I've ever had. You know, I played at Wembley twice. I played in a Stadium Azteca in Mexico, which was another amazing experience. And then this is uh, this is as good as it gets. So to just travel to around the world and see. Um, you know, kind of the welcoming from, you know, even around town, there was a lot of really cool fanfare and then driving in today, it looked like there was a lot of excitement. So by the time we got on the field for warmups, you know, the stadium was basically full and, uh, you know, he just gets everyone hyped up and hopefully we, you know, kind of entertained everyone. That was our, that was our goal coming out here. Will you see me in the Germany next four years? Oh man, that's a tough question. There's probably a lot of people that want to know that question. <laughs> Um, yeah, this, I'm going to take this one for what it was, which was uh, very, very special, and uh, I don't know what the future holds. So, uh, But it was amazing, and just got to meet some of the, the Bayern Munich players, and um, you know, just been a big fan of international soccer for a long time. I know they got the World Cup coming up, so I have a great appreciation for sports, what they do, how they bring people together, and I think this is another indication of that. It was really cool for a bunch of American kids to come over here and play in another country and kind of see... Um, you know, be welcome the way that we were. So we're very grateful. Thank you, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Number one, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, we, it, it was it wasn't probably the top reason why, but um, obviously this is an amazing thing that happened for our team, and um, it's going to be a fun ride home. I don't know if we have alcohol on the plane. Um, not that I drink much, but it will be fun to watch all the other guys drink, and uh, I'm sure there might be a few guys looking for some beer on the way out to the airport so we'll see um I mean it was very hard to play you know uh, just a lot of emotions uh but I tried to turn them into good emotions and you know just keep a great spirit you know just that's the relationship we had you know just all about ball all about just going out there and be the best and you know just getting this thing turned around so that was kind of the emphasis that we was more focused on you know leading up to even coming to Germany like just go over there and put on the show Oh, yeah, it was just like an appreciation just knowing, you know, I got great people, great angels, you know, watching over me. So it was just, you know, it was just like this one for you, you know, because I just felt like I was going to come out and have a good game. You know, I had a great week of preparation and then, you know, get, getting ready to get on the plane to get a call like that. It just, just seemed unreal. But at the end of the day, you know, I knew I had a job to do and I just wasn't going to uh, accept no pats on the backs and stuff. So I just put my head down and just kept going for it. Um, I mean, I, I kept it to myself, you know, because I'm a person that just can, you know, bag myself up into a corner and handle everything and figure it out later. But, I mean, as the week got going and, you know, we had to continue to pair for uh, the Seahawks, which are a great team, you know, I leaned on just being on the football field. You know, I kind of took that in consideration and being out there with my brothers, that kind of put everything at ease. At least when we was out there, you know, get to the hotel and I was back by myself, it was a little tougher. But while I was at practice, it was just about doing the correct things to go out and win the football game. For him to even get on the plane, you know, it happened right before we were leaving and he still got on the plane to play the ball game. So, you know, to lose your dad right before you're getting ready to go to Germany and to come out and still play says a lot about the guy. The crowd was electric. You know, a lot of Seahawks fans here. <laughs> the crowd was electric, though. It, it was loud throughout the ball game from beginning to end. Uh, I thought the German fans were outstanding and it was a great place to play. Had he not slipped, you would have seen his 42-inch vertical. Um, I loved it. Um, I loved the energy um, here in Germany. Um, the fans, they was amazing. Um, just the whole atmosphere. Like, we really don't get the opportunity to play, you know, 80-something. What it was? I can't remember. I don't know. 69,000. 69,811, 69, right? That's all. I, but, like, those type of crowds, um, I mean, it's amazing. Um, and it's just people who just love the sport and just love, you know. So um, the energy was really, really good. Um, they kept us into the game. It wasn't a dull moment. Um, I love the way they chanted. They stayed together they, in unity. So, I mean, it was just it, overall it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Um, a testament to him, um, prayers for him um, and his family.
Um, I don't know what he's going through. I can't really talk about how he is, how he's, what he's doing, but um, the brotherhood is here, his family here, um, we support him. So um, we, we're glad he made the trip and, you know, he could he probably played for his pops and things like that, but that's not for me to discuss him. You ask him when he get up here. Will he come back to Germany? Absolutely. <laughs> I love okay. you. Thank you, Tom Brady.